come back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and because of that it's not properly configured so i request you please watch the video carefully because i saw most of you guys using the issue on the task number three so first of all just be login with your credentials and once you're done with that just make come back over here and just be click over here and then click on this agree and continue now just simply wait and just be activate your cloud chain it will take a couple of seconds so just be wait for that now click on this continue now just me come back over here click on the task number one and just me copy this command come back over here wait for a second now now click on this got it now just me paste hit enter wait for a second and then click on authorize so we are done with the task number one now just me scroll down then copy the first command of task number two just simply paste and hit enter now copy the second command of task number two just simply paste and hit enter now just simply scroll down then copy the third command of task number two just simply paste and hit enter now just simply copy the last command of task number two copy that come back over here paste and hit enter so we are done with the task number two as well now i request you please pay attention while doing the task number three so basically first of all what you do just in the search for the vertex ai like this open this new tab come back over here wait for a second and just click on this enable all recommendation api just me click over here then click on this workbench now just simply wait and then click on this unwanted pop-up like this now click on this user manage notebook just me click over here page will reload and then click on this create new now for me the given region is us central one so i'm going to choose that for you if it's different so you have to just simply choose that region now from the environment you have to just simply choose the tensorflow 2.6 just simply choose that now just be scroll down and here you can see advanced option just simply click over here and just simply make sure that the region must be us central one as given on the lab instruction page now click on this environment and from here just simply choose the environment must be 2.6 so we have done with both the things now click on this machine type and from here you have to just simply choose e2 standard like this and from here you have to just simply choose e2 standard 2 like this and make sure that your machine type must look e2 standard 2 now for the gpu it must be none so we are done with all the configurations now just simply click on this create now just simply wait for at least one to two minutes And it's done. Now just simply click on this open Jupyter lab. Now it will take a couple of seconds to launch a Jupyter notebook. So just simply come back over here. Now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy this command, come back over here, wait for a second now. Now just simply click on this terminal and just simply paste the command which you just copy and hit enter.
and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue and if you are not able to get a green tick over here no need to worry because lab take time to update the score so no need to worry about that now if i just come back over here and here you can see we got a 160 out of 60 and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys